House Crafts. Welcome back if you've been before. And hi, if this is your first time, this is where I'm going to show you the opening of the new release of the Colour in Heaven colouring magazine. So I've got my candle lit, which is the Yankee Candle Jasmine one. I think it's Jasmine, let me just check. Yep, yeah, Jasmine. Um, for anybody that might need prayer, thoughts, or positivity, know that that's lit for you. I've got to have a sniff of it. I've got a lovely cup of tea. Oh, because I've been doing loads of paperwork, so thirsty girl. So I thought I'll come and show you this that's come. But look, it's a steampunk special. If anybody knows me, they know I love steampunk. I didn't realise it was a steampunk one this week because I didn't look at the. We get a little sneak preview, and it's like a tiny little fraction. You'll just see like a circle of a little fraction of one of the pictures. But I didn't look at it this week, in all this month. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. If I want to be surprised, I don't. And I like to be surprised, so more often than not, I don't look at it. And I have this as a subscription. Um, oh, let me get rid of my thing. It's a manager's subscription online, and that's where I got mine from. This is just a little bit cheaper, and I like to show you guys... So you can decide whether you want to go out and buy this magazine or subscribe to it or whatever. As usual, they have the cover where you can practice colouring in it. And there's bits from all different pages that are going to be inside. The same with the back cover. That will be one of the pictures inside. And of course, it's on the card, so you can try a different medium on there if you like. This one is £5.49. I think in the shops it's 5 99 but don't hold me to that. You have to look. I think most supermarkets sell them when they do come out. So, oh, oh, oh I nearly fell then. Sorry, my phone. Let me just turn it down. Oh, I nearly fell. Just re vibrate. I have to, just in case my daughter's out. So, I always worry when it goes out. So, yeah, so we have got, and it's by. 40 sci-fi designs by Matt and Dawn Davidson, including, including four exclusives for them. So it says, hello colouring friends, it's been a while since we featured stinging punk designs in Colour in Heaven. And when planning for this issue, Matt Davidson immediately came to mind when his wonderful intricate Jules Verne inspired designs. Having worked as a concept and costume designer at Disney for the past 31 years, you can really see his experience and attention to detail coming into play in the backgrounds and costumes of his exciting colouring designs. Matt's wife Dawn is also an artist. Several of her designs have already featured in last year's Halloween special. Thinking that Dawn's softer style would work wonderfully alongside Matt's detailed drawings, bringing both a masculine and feminine aspect to steampunk, I asked if they'd like to become the first husband and wife duo featured artist for this issue. The result is the fantastic collections of designs you see before you. Dawn has created 14 exclusive new illustrations for this issue and in doing so hit upon the really fun idea of steep punk nursery rhymes. So see designs 11, 15, 21 and 23. If you're a fan of these, then keep an eye on Dawn and Matt's Etsy store where Dawn hopes to create more in this nursery rhyme style in the future. In the meantime, pop on the kettle, make a brew with a good head of steam on it, sit back, relax and colour the amazing retro futuristic designs in this issue. There you go. And there's their Etsy store, which I will be definitely having a look at. Definitely. And that's all about colour in heaven. So if I put that there, you can pause it, have a look and go and have a look. So there, oh, look at that hat and the goggles and the waistcoat. That is gorgeous. It's a very pretty face. Male, female, or either, as I say, it doesn't matter. It's just beautiful. Aaron Boy, so it is a boy, but it's a beautiful boy. And this one is Focus, and these are the exclusive by, by Dawn Davidson. Always oh, put faces are absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? Bright red lips, she's gonna have some gold, some coppers in there. I think she might have auburn hair, I might give her auburn hair on that one. 
and a vibrant scarf there just to kick it off. This is a nursery rhyme on time. I just looking at all the details down to the little tiny brooches there, the little buttons on the boot, and a little fob with a chain going into the pocket. Steam Express. Oh, that's nice. Now, that would be a nice headpiece to have for my hair if I ever put it up. I like that. She looks sad, though. She does look sad there. Maybe she's sad because she hasn't been coloured. <laughs> so we'll have to colour her. Oh, here's an issue. I'm oh, I see what they mean. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse rebuilt the clock. When it strikes three, the cat's awfully <laughs> hickory dickory dock. I like that. Oh, I'm going to have to tell my cats that one. I love that. That is brilliant. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, brilliant. Love that. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. Jack flies like he's a lunatic. Oh, my God. This is going to be so much fun. Look at it. He's knocked the bird flying, luck. All the leaves. Oh, I'm going to love this. I can just see it now. This is Rosie. <gasps> She looks beautiful. She is stunning. She's going to have, I don't know whether I'll do jet black hair or I might do some auburns with the, red, with the reds in it. I don't know. See, I'm drawn to a blue dress for some reason. No idea why. I like how she's got the watch on the outside of her sleeve there. This is Foxy. Not so keen on this one. But it's the practice of doing the fur, isn't it? Late for tea. Oh, look at that steampunk rabbit. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to do that in coppers, gold. And you can throw in a bit of silver in there as well. That's going to be amazing to do. Or you could even use your gel pens. And glitter it up so it's all shiny shiny oh <laughs> I'm mechanical spiders I don't like spiders but that's making me chuckle little miss muffet sat on a tuffet in tinkering with her toy toy harmonium when her schoolmates did chide her she sent forth her spider which affected <laughs> affected complete pandemonium it would I tell you, if this, she sent the spider on to me, I'd be gone. Shoom, out the door, that's it. Not sticking around. But, mm, no way. Mm, mm, mm. Mary had a little bird. Mary had a clockwork bird with brass as bright as gold. And everywhere that Mary went, she brought the bird to hold. To school she took it every day. It chirped into her ears and answered to arithmetic, arithmetic and with its strip, well, until it stripped its gears. Didn't say that right, did I? Oh, look, it's like her brain's working so hard, it's smoking, luck. She obviously doesn't like math. The mad doctor or mad scientist, whichever... Oh, I wonder what that noise was out there, then. He looks He looks like he's not wicked. He looks, just looks like he's having some fun, doesn't he? Mischievous grin, that looks like. Tinkery. Oh, look, it's a doll and it tinkering with the doll. It's got a little bit of steampunk in the hair there. And all the mechanics inside her. That's a bit different. Now she's beautiful. Mini drone. Oh, look at the butterfly. I think I'll have that see through wings and just the gold. Coming down into here into a copper. Because I love copper and golds. I like the way she's got the metal fastening there as well. High flyer. Oh, look at the bird. You don't have to keep them the mechanical colours. You can colour whatever you want. You can do purples, greens. Like I might, I think I might use the gel pens on this one and have it like metallic colours. With the glitter and shine. Adele. This is by Matt. The resuscitation. No. Re Sorry, I can't focus on that. 
dyslexia is mixing all that up. Can you see that? I'll hold it up for you to read. Sorry, my dyslexia is just too many swirls and curls. All my letters are all blending in. I think... Ooh. The res res resurrection is it? Resurrection key? Egyptian. I like Egyptian stuff. Ah, look at the mummy coming out. Sorry. Alice. Oh, look at a mechanical arm. The cat. That's going to be a fun one to do. Loads of details in there though. Loads and loads. I think you'll be finding things in these pictures. Avaskaya. Yeah, you can read that. From the Amada. All the flying balloons. Don't want to mess with it. The Baroness. Very striking Baroness look. She must be a bit cold though. <laughs> what is this? This is the centre of the earth. Some nice mushrooms growing in caves maybe. Do you think? But they look like um, flying um, jellyfish, don't they? Well, I don't know. Is it under sea or not under sea? But there's a waterfall, so... I suppose you can make it whatever you are. This is the same one that was on on the, the back. Iron Elephants, Defender of Cornpaw. Not going to mess with them, are you, on a Sunday? Defender of Oz. Oh, look. Yes, look. Look at the scarecrow. And the lion and the tin man. Double Agents of the Old West. That's nice as well. Get some leather in the trousers and the jacket. Try and get a leather look. Dr. Jekyll. Don't like that one, it's a bit scary. Dr. Jekyll and Miss Hyde. A bit scary. That's it. Eliza. That's a bit very futuristic on a planet, is it? Oh, it's on the moon, look, because that must be Earth, and this is on the moon. Little creatures coming out to see who she is. Gaslight Geisha. I like Geisha girls. Millie would like this one. Is it focusing? Is it focused? I can't tell if it's focused or not. Oh, I hope it was focused on the other ones I was showing. Oh, the perfect wife. That's me. That's me, the perfect wife. Gearson, girl. New learning model. Always learning, so it's definitely me. Definitely me. Her luck come. <laughs> That's good. And what's Sam? I like that. Bin Ben. Bin ben. <laughs> Big Ben in the background. Oh, this is a nice look. Octopuses grabbing hold of her. Oh, she's under the water look. All the bubbles. And the creatures. I don't want to miss with her. Sitting in the Paris. She looks like she's putting on a show, doesn't she? Scarlet Rain. She looks like another fearsome person you don't want to mess with. Do you think that's up in the clouds? I'm saying so, isn't it? I presume these are the clouds and they're up above the clouds. And is that a city held up with balloons? This is Sky Queen. And with the greys, they've helped you with the shading. 
you can follow their shading or do your own it's totally up to you steam trunk travel company ah oh, look the whole family's going on holiday look oh the doll's a bit creepy though isn't it handsome family the floating floating lotus that's nice you can either really color that intricately or just do like a blend of colors going from pinks down to whatever color you want do you know what i mean pinks into purples into blues into greens whatever if you didn't want to color each bit time travels time travel helicopter type thing and that's uh pterodactyls if i'm not mistaken on. victoria frankenstein the hair what, what what's what's with the hair i don't know i tell you what her frankenstein's very very nice looking isn't it not like the ones you see in the horror films anyway she's got a good looker one there What's this? Wendy Victorious. Oh, look, Peter Pan. That's nice. I like that one. So a little bit of steampunky, but not too much. Wicked. Oh, I like the monkeys with the wings. I think they look really nice. Really cool, look. Just wouldn't want to mess with the nails. Yeah, keep out, keep out the way of the nails. It'll look a little, little bit sharp. But yeah, I enjoy doing having a go at feathers. I'm not very good at it, but I enjoy doing it. Ooh, Zelska, daughter of Dracula. She's obviously just drunk his blood. That'd be a nice one. I'd probably do this actually in my ever blends. I think I'd love to go with my ever blends on that one. Too much going on there for my pencils. I get overwhelmed. So I think I might do that one in my ever blends. And finally, Zephyr Captains. That's a handsome couple, isn't it? Captain Matthias and First Mate. Aurora, Aurora, who seem to be husband and wife, if not already. That's a nice one. That's like a poster type one, isn't it? So what do you think? Do you like them? And again, you've got your chart at the back if you want to put your colours on there and want to keep them and put your page number on there. Or you can do your gradient, gradient of colours there. I don't. I just do it on the page opposite. Because then it's with the picture and I can look at the picture and look straight opposite and look to see what I've used. So yeah, what do you think? I like him. But as I say, this is up my street. So that, <laughs> that one I think is just hilarious. So I'm going to leave that one out because I think it's hilarious. So if you're into colouring, would you buy him? Or do you buy him? Do you have a subscription or do you go to the supermarket? Let me know down below. I keep the tooth main one to me to chuckle <laughs> so with that said if you'd like to leave the comments down below if you want to have a chat my social media is down there if you want to support the channel and see behind the scenes my patreon's down below <laughs> it's a cat's face if you haven't subscribed and you fancy staying around there's a subscribe button down below just press it and by the side there's a bell which notify you when i go live which is on a sunday or when i put up a video which is if minimum a few times a week with that said all that's left is to say take care look after yourselves and most importantly stay safe bye for now love you all